What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Young Demi, aka Demi God underscore underscore seven. Today I'm gonna be covering some tips and what I recommend to improve your shooting in NBA 2K21. I've had people reach out to me and ask me, Demi God, what jump shot do you use? How do you shoot so consistently? Now don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect. I have games where I'm off. But the goal is, for the most part, is to at least shoot 50% if I'm having an off game. So today I'm gonna cover, you know, five contributing factors to improve your shooting in NBA 2K21. Again, this is my opinion. Everything I'm going to review with you today is everything that I have done. I'm not going to advise you to do anything that I wouldn't do or that I have not already done. So for all you shooters out there looking to improve in shooting, I'm asking that you heed my advice. You don't have to do it, but Demi God recommends that you do it. So the screenshots that you've been looking at showing my stats from the wreck, I posted those for a reason. After applying everything that I'm going to share with you today and advise you to do that has completely changed my shooting experience in 2k21 so I only want the best for the shooters my goal after you guys reviewing this video is for you to fully maximize your gaming experience as a shooter so let's get right into it oh yeah subscribe boy. So the very first contributing factor to improve your shooting in NBA 2K21 is to upgrade from your ISP router. What is ISP? Internet Service Provider. I recommend that you guys purchase your own router and your own modem separately, or you can purchase a combo, a two-in-one. The second contributing factor to improving your shooting is to establish a hard wired connection. I cannot stress this enough. Having a wired connection is 10 times better, in my experience, is better than having a wireless connection. And also be sure to buy a good quality ethernet cable. The third contributing factor to improving your shooting is to enable game mode on your TV or your monitor. Game mode is going to help with reducing input lag. As a shooter, reducing input lag can significantly improve your shooting. And again, this is based off of my experience. The fourth contributing factor to improving your shooting is to upgrade your monitor or your television. Now you're probably asking, Demi God, why do I need to upgrade my TV or my monitor? It's working just fine. What you want to do is you want to look for a monitor or a TV that has a better refresh rate um, and also a lower lag time. So if you have a high refresh rate, such as 120 hertz, and you have lower lag time, you're going to have a better shooting experience. If you want, you can go on Google. You can type in the top five gaming TVs or the top five gaming monitors. Just do some research. All right. So last but not least, the fifth contributing factor to improving your shooting in 2K is to purchase good quality HDMI cable. You can go to Google, you can type in what are the top five or 10 HDMI cables that are recommended for gaming and see what results are displayed. And then from there, you can make your decision. So this is pretty much all the five contributing factors to improve your shooting. I've done everything that was listed and it improved my shooting. So after making the necessary changes to your equipment, upgrading, whichever you choose, the most important factor is finding a jump shot. Once you have a jump shot that you're comfortable with using, you need to head on over there to the 
boost station and go ahead and buy some boost. Then at that point, all you need to do is just go crazy in the community. So your boy Young Demi would like to thank everyone for taking time out of their day to watch this video. Hopefully the information that I provided will help you with improving your shooting. Please be sure to drop a like below. Leave a comment if you feel you want to. And I will see y'all in the wreck and in the park. Oh yeah, don't forget, subscribe.